All right, let's talk about C Sharp XML documentation in Visual Studios. So, what is XML documentation? Well, it's basically specially formatted comments. These specially formatted comments are ones that start with three forward slashes instead of either two forward slashes or a forward slash star and star forward slash, I think. It's, it's comments that are made to be recognized and interpreted by a Visual Studio. So you put them before classes, properties, methods, and other elements. And then Visual Studio IntelliSense will recognize these and use them. And it helps to provide documentation and also information for IntelliSense as it's helping you write your code. There are a couple of different tags you can see. There is a summary tag which provides a general description of whatever it is. So that could be the class or the methods or objects inside of the class. You have values which describe what a value is. Your returns which describes what the return value of a method means and how to interpret it. And then param for parameters being passed into the method. So here we're going to a basic example of a class XML documentation piece. You can see a class described with a summary in the front some class description and then a close summary tag. And that is all interpreted as part of this XML documentation. Same kind of thing applies for methods. Once again, you have a summary with a method description, but you can also have parameter names and you can have a return value and that can explain what the return value means. So let's jump right into some code and see how to write it. So I've got this empty project right here. I'm going to press Control Shift A, create a new class. This is a my calc class. I'm going to do a my math um, class. So my calc project with a my math class inside of it. So I'll make this a public static class my math. Inside of this my math, I am going to have a let's see a public const pi or maybe it makes a double double pi equals three point one four. So we've got that in there, and let's create a method now. Um, let's do public uh, const. I'm going to cause public static. Um, let's maybe this a bool is even. Pass in an integer value. Int num. And then we will have it say if num percent 2 equals 0, then that means it's even. Return true. Otherwise, we will just return false. All right. So now we have one method and we have one little value here and we have this class. So we're going to go ahead and provide some documentation. So I press three slashes and it pops up this whole summary thing. So I said, this is my math class. Okay. And then I go here, put three slashes. Pi is a great value. And then down here, I'm going to put three slashes. And this one provides a lot more because it even says information about the summary, the parameters, and the return value. So I can say checks to see if an integer is even. And then number to be checked. And then read uh, true if even, false if odd. So there we go. You got some information here. You can see how to use it. It's all in place. Now I jump over into my program and say, I want to use this stuff right here. It's a static 
a static class so I can go ahead and just uh, write some code. Actually, let's go ahead and double click something here. And so when I load it, I can say, well, um, I'm going to say uh, double um, area equals and uh, we're going to say the area equals well not area let's use perimeter per equals and then we want to do some number two times two times actually I should do uh area two times two times is uh my math dot and then I move down to pi and you can see the information right here pi is a great value all right then I want to do um I'm going to use my my math is even. Well, you can see right here, checks to see if an integer is even. All right, so we'll use that one. And then we're going to pass the number five. And you can see right here, number to be checked, check to see if it's even. Right there, if I move back over this thing right here again, um, you can get more information. It can even show me my return values. So true if even, false if odd. So you can see that more and more information is popping up and IntelliSense is providing help so that I know what's going on. Anyway, this shows you basically how to do your XML-based comments. And hope that helps.